I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video for Monday, the 15th day of February. And boy, what a change uh, uh, since yesterday. Temperatures yesterday hit the 50s in some spots, but today, I don't know if we get above freezing. And the snow that was in the forecast uh, for last night and this morning, uh, it was there, but not much. Uh, let's go right to it and talk about it. Uh, first off, the view coming from Cullman. And these images captured about 4.30 this morning, up a little earlier than usual. Looks like about one inch of snow on the ground up there. And there are a number of reports of icy bridges. And the sand trucks are out. And that's been pretty much the story up in that part of the state, about one inch of snow. That's the uh, Jasper Sky Cam kind of looking down on the uh, street below the courthouse and the King Building. And again, they just had nothing more than light snow, but notice that there's still some moisture out there. And they're sitting in the 20s, so... Uh, I have great fear that there's going to be some wrecks on the bridges this morning from people that are not aware of that. And up in Huntsville, same deal. They picked up about one inch of snow. And again, uh, traffic along Memorial Parkway is awfully light at 430, but hopefully they won't have too many accidents. But bridges are indeed icy across much of North Alabama this morning. Well, there we go. There's our clipper system thing rotating on through here this morning. And as we often talk about, clippers rarely have a lot of moisture because they originate from Canada where there's no ocean. And uh, sure enough, this one was a quick hit, uh, uh, light rain, light snow, and boom, it's gone this morning. But boy, it's turning cold. Look at the temperatures. Up near the Canadian border, I see, what, a 16 below zero up over North Dakota. And uh, that air is making its presence known down here. Now, again, those are 4 o'clock observations. By the time you uh, watch this, it's going to be a lot colder. In fact, I'm beginning to think... A lot of folks have a hard time getting out of the 20s today. Now, at 4 o'clock, it was down to 23 in Haleyville. Birmingham was at 30. But uh, again, uh, it's going to be a cold day today, a brisk north wind. And uh, we'll see kind of a probably some sun peeking through at times, but clouds will rotate back in here, and there could be a few flurries around today. And there's a gaggle of winter weather advisories all the way from Mobile, Alabama, to almost New York City. And... Uh, in Alabama, that winter storm warning, of course, has been canceled up in the northern part of the state as the precipitation is gone. Uh, some pretty good snow falling up north from Lexington and Louisville back up towards Cincinnati. There's the radar, and this is at 435, and you can see the back edge of the uh, light snow uh, running from near uh, uh, Hoax Bluff down to Talladega and Clanton. And anything we see for the rest of the day today will be just flurries. And there's the big picture. And again, uh, with, with these kind of clippers, they move fast. There's not a lot of moisture, and uh, and boom, it's gone. So the cold air is now the story. And the QPF chart, that's counting what came down last night and earlier this morning. So really, I think uh, for the next five days, we'll be dry. This is valid through Friday evening at 6 o'clock, and there's a good chance we will get a chance to dry out, put a string of uh, dry days back-to-back, -back, and that'll be good. Now, this this is the Arctic Oscillation, and we're going to moderate this week, and we're going to get up there uh, toward 50 later in the week. But, you know, with the AO being so strongly negative, see the bottom chart down there, you just have to wonder how long a warm-up can last as it looks like the idea there will be for continued colder-than-average temperatures for the rest of this month. We'll see. Let's look at the GFS. This is noon today. There's your trough forming over the east. The rain, the snow is well to the east and well to the north. And again, there could be a few flurries around today, but nothing beyond that. And really tomorrow, uh, I'm not totally convinced it's a sunny day. I think it'll be cold and again, maybe a flurry or two with a chilly north wind. Uh, really a little warmer than today, but not by much. Today, we'll probably stay below freezing all day. Tomorrow, maybe mid to upper 30s if we're lucky. Now, Wednesday should feel better, but the thickness values are awfully low. Uh, that should get us up there toward 40, maybe low 40s, but still uh, breezy and cold. But uh, hopefully the sky will be mostly sunny by then, which it should be. And Thursday, we'll start to moderate somewhat. We'll be well up in the 40s, maybe pushing 50. And Friday, by golly, we should be in the low and mid 50s. Still below average for mid-February, but at least that'll feel like a heat wave compared to the air we have now. What about the weekend, you ask? This is Saturday. The flow goes zonal. So that's going to shut down the flow of the, the Arctic air. And down below that, a little impulse tries to squeeze out a little light rain down here. And north of us, a little light snow for places like Knoxville and Gatlinburg and uh, up into West Virginia, the mountains up and through there. And then Sunday, another impulse approaching. It looks like most of Sunday would be dry, but that would maybe suggest some rain on Monday. And there it is. 
So, uh, and again, this is a fast, difficult to forecast zonal flow with these minor waves like that. So for now, it looks like maybe some light rain on Saturday and then again, some light rain on Monday. All right, we'll see. Uh, let's go out there on the 25th. This is three days later toward the uh, middle of that next week. Here comes a pretty well-defined trough in the southern branch. And uh, by golly, that looks awfully wet if this is right. That would be a big wet down. And then at the end of the forecast on March 1st, uh-oh, here comes that western ridge developing, pumping up the cold air. Strong Vortmax coming through here. About a March 1st snow for two years in a row. Had one last year. And we all know that this is not a forecast. This is model output. But something like that is possible out there. We'll just have to wait and see. This interesting winter rolls along. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by... Uh, 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see All of the places close to me They're all part of all best things of Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.